kill some of these bats in the meantime. Even though we do have the thing that makes us completely immune to bats. But still. There is an important thing to note here. Let's actually exit out of that for a second. Jump back to this. Now, um, here, this is the US release. Here, here in the US release, you will notice he has a thing in his mouth. That would be the um, thing for the puzzle earlier, the um, elevator thing. We had to whip the thing in his mouth until it went into his mouth, and that activated the elevator by pushing it out of this one's mouth. But, once you have started on the route towards Hell Temple, in versions that actually goddamn have Hell Temple, the little thingy in his mouth disappears. This is so that we can land here and go in and chat this is, uh, as we can see there in the name, if you can speak Japanese, the name is Dracuet. But, obviously we're not getting much out of the text here, because, um, yeah, the, this is the WiiWare version still, and it is the Japanese one. And so we have the DLC for Hell Temple, and I could not be happier, because I don't have to do this garbage on the PC in a way that doesn't give me save states, so... Who to the frickin' ra? <laughs> okay, now then, let's see. We had a chat with Dracuet. Now we're going to head back up to the surface. Let's go this way. And I'm sure I could teleport, but, uh, let's savor this for a bit, and give Sylvia a bit of time to get in here. Hmm, and I should also actually check on all the things. I should max out the amount of weights I have. I should switch to that, and... yeah, actually the shield is a good thing to be carrying right now. And I, I, well, yes, I will actually, well, I will, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Don't mind me, just, um, chatting to myself about the things I will need to purchase as we go through. So yes, the uh, music is still all dire up here. That happens as soon as you defeat all eight guardians in whichever order you prefer. Uh, for this Japanese Wii playthrough, I went through the entire friggin' game in two days, and once we get over to the save point, we'll see exactly how much time it took me. This was the absolute fastest I've ever gone through Lambalana, and because of the very recent, you know, playthrough that we just did in the English version, um, I managed it without checking on the wiki all that much basically only had to check the wiki for stuff like the mantras and a few different things here and there. So there we go, five hours. My previous best time for getting through was about eight hours, so yeah, freaking sweet. Okay, so, no map, because... Is there a map to the surface? I don't think there is. There is not a map to the surface, is there? Let me just actually double check on that. Uh, whip buckler pistols. Hand scanner map. Map! There is a map! <laughs> well, how about that? Yeah, let's see. Find this little guy. Not in this direction, apparently. Let's 
somewhere up here. Oh, that's probably him. If we have a chat with our skeleton friend, we get the map to the surface. This was a thing I totally forgot to do in the, um, English version. Did not even realize it was a thing. So, there we have a map for this area we've been going through so many dozens of times. And, uh, yeah, I just left the area I need to be in. Whoops. Hey, Thunder. Okay, so what we want to do is take a snooze. And now that we have taken a snooze, it's night. I didn't mean to fall all the way down. Let's, um, <laughs> head on back up and take note of the fact that all of the tents are closed, except for the elders, but yeah, everybody's gone to bed. So, we now want to... we are currently on step... Oh, we do want to actually go talk to Selwood. Oops. We are on step five of the, um, ten steps to unlock the Hell Temple. After that, there are about, I don't know, 35, maybe 40 steps to actually get through Hell Temple. So it's gonna be crazy go nuts. I just said yes, I want to listen to it again. Let's try that again. Okay, now we head up here. Even all the birds have gone to sleep. Wonder if that is true of the condor as well. Let's see. Wow, it is. <laughs> How about that? And if I'd done a proper jump, I could have angled that to get where I wanted to be, but that's okay. We can just do it now, and it'll be all well and good. So, way over here... Oh, we can't even see where we are. There is a hidden entrance with a hidden fairy. Nope, that is good. Bye now. Alright, so, we want to go to... Gate of Illusion C5. Alright. Wait, what happened to my map? Did... Did I... S oh, wait, what the... Apparently the... Wiimote glitch has triggered. This is a thing that has happened to me once while playing through the English version and many times while playing through this version. I don't know what causes it, but a simple save and reload, and it's fixed. So uh, let's go do that, because that's going to get annoying up there. Pretty sure that uh, I can't save. Huh. So, I cannot save. One moment. Yeah, that seems to be about... Yep, that seems to be about <laughs> the long and short of it. We can't actually save. There will be shortcuts later on that let us do things, but... Saving is evidently not an option. So we get to deal with this Wiimote Connected crap. And I guess by deal with it, I mean ignore it, but that's okay. 
No, maybe we just have no map because it's night. Who knows? Anyways, we are going to the Gate of Illusion. Not that way because blue barrier. Alright, so. Yeah, that didn't work. Don't know why I did that, exactly. Let's see, we want to... Turn that off, we don't really need it. Yeah, turn that off, that on, that on, we get a guaranteed key fairy. Good, now we can get rid of that, and that, get that back on, and... No, can't afford anything else, so, yeah. That'll do for now. Okay, so we want to go to C5. Okay, so that door there is now accessible. Here we go. Alright. Now we go to a different place. A place we've been to before once. Just to uh, pick up a single piece of software, the La Mulana software. And we have to go to where Hell Temple originally was. So we have to head up quite a ways. It's Gate of Illusion C5. I don't think there's a map in this area, and this time I am pretty certain of that. I'm about 99% positive that, um... Wow, there... Oh wait, no. I'm looking at the Gate of Illusion. Wow, what? I want to be it looking at... Come on, come on. Don't freeze on me now, website. Now well, let's continue on while... I give the website a chance to load. Gate of Time is the area we want to be looking at. Now, they're essentially rolling worm things, but this here, the Gate of Time, is an homage to the original La Mulana, the first PC version where everything looked like it was programmed on an MSX. Because, you know, it was essentially a love letter to MSX games. Brown Door. Correct, it should be just up ahead. Hmm. No, maybe not. No, no. I think I got it. Let's see. Come on, back. Dang it. This way, and jump up here and walk to the right. And now, 
Somewhere around here. There! The original entrance to Hell Temple was right there. Okay, so... And let me double check. Yeah, Vomilana.exe is the only thing in this area in terms of items you can pick up. The Hidden Fairy exists, um, you know, if you want to redo a puzzle that you've screwed up, but, um, yeah, no. <laughs> Alright, so we want to go to the Chamber of Extinction. Oh, and uh, that is another thing to note. Most of the areas do have the same name. Some are essentially, you know, like, just a, ch a word changed. You know, Temple of the Sun to Sun Shrine, Inferno Cavern, Burning Cavern, Monument of Extinction for Chamber of Extinction. It's all essentially... Oh, and uh, Endless Corridor instead of Infinite. But, um, yeah. Very much largely the same between the two. Alright, so, let me think. To get to that place, we want to go to this place. Alright, so, from here we get down to where Palenque was. Also, we are completely stocked up on everything except pistol ammo, so we may take a moment to uh, grind up all of the monies and buy out pistol ammo. So now that, that is very different than it had been. That looks nothing like it previously did. So... Now this is the trick. From here we want to go down 20 screens. Four, five, speed this up a bit, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, good place for save state. Down one of these spots. This should be it. There we go. We go from the 20th screen up to this little room in the Tower of the Goddess where we could not reach before. We head in here, and it's another one of these grave markers. Oops, didn't mean to say one more time. And now... Uh, now is a good time, actually, to <laughs> do that money grinding, so... Oh, and here's another di difference I noted. In the English version... Well, American, North American, um, European, etc. There's no water here. There's the waterfall, but there's no water. It just has it as you know, normal. So that's kind of an interesting switch. Mainly insofar as, um... With, before you get the, uh... Is it the, um... Scale Sphere, when you warp into that area, you are immediately taking damage. So that is interesting to me. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see if we can... Fortunately, the um, Japanese version does work on the same rules as the American one, insofar as 
you can either um, safe state it or use these combinations to your advantage. And which one was it? Capstar? It was Capstar. Okay. There's an item fairy. Not really too worried about um, rushing in since we're still going to get max money out of this regardless. <laughs> 